Alright, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, dubs, L's, everything is being taken right now, man. But hey, yesterday, a little bit of an in between or something like that. We're gonna talk about all of that, man. We got my boy uh, with the mobile mobile one event, which is, which was used to be Formula One, but now they got to sponsor this mobile one. We're talking about that. We're talking about my guy NBA 2K2. So he's talking about speed, and we're just talking about things in general in the community. And also, NBA 2K current gen had a massive patch updated the part. We are gonna get into that. All that right after this. So if you like the video, like the video. Like I said, subscribe for more daily 2K content. And, and we'll, just, we'll talk about everything else right after we get on the other side of this thing. Let it go! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that habit. So if y'all didn't know, NBA 2K21 did a little update or what have you, and um on on current gen, and they changed the park, and hopefully they're skipping a stop here in a second, bro. I don't know what happened. Y'all ever record something with your with your video equipment, and then like the video the first part of the video comes out like that, but then the rest of it is just fine. I don't know what causes it. Who knows? It's desync. It is what it is, bro. But I ran around the entire park, and I just wanted to show y'all that 2K Beach has now been winterized. We now have a whole lot of stuff going on here and uh I, I mean i'm here for it man one of the biggest things is that we see is the mainstay is that they changed that joint right there the uh the, the ferris wheel is now a snowflake i think last time it was a, a leaf or something like that and before that it was a spider so 2k is doing they, they are continuing to support current gen now even though the game is a little bit like the wild wild west and everybody was doing what they were doing and they tried to do everything that they could to change a whole lot of stuff and keep people I think that they used it as a litmus test. I think that they just said, hey, look, bro, we're going to let y'all go in here and expose all the tricks of the trade and all the cheating and all the stuff that y'all do. And then when y'all do that, we're going to fix it in the next gen. So if you play current gen, you and then you come to next gen, it's going to be like night and day. Uh, most of the glitching, let me say like 90% of the glitching and all that stuff, cheese is gone. Uh, the only thing that I know, the only two things that really stand out right now about cheese on current on next gen is the fading threes and then the uh and the curry slide like the curry slide ain't even that bad you can play it but the fading threes come by like a lot of people have not caught on to the fact that circus threes is just ridiculous but it's just like what can we do about it y'all let me know what can they do about circus threes down in the comment section like normally you can't take bad threes because you don't have a badge for it. But can they really take Circus 3s out of the game when there is a badge for it? Or do they just need to let you be able to contest those 3s? Because I think that's what the issue is. I don't think the issue is that you can take the Circus 3s. The, the issue is that most of the time you're there and you can't and you can't um you can't get a contest on it. But at the same time, if you got somebody that knows what they're doing and they they size up, curry slide, and then they sprint this way, and then they shoot the fading three, you can't even catch up. So you really dead. I'll, maybe they should just let there be something that guards can only get. I don't know how they can fix it because, like I said, you have a badge in the game that lets you take bad threes. It shouldn't even be in the game. I don't even know who's who's I don't even know what clown thought of that. That's, that's why the whole badge is a clown. Because, like, bro, it, it, that's a clown badge. You shouldn't have something like that. But I can see that gameplay on next gen once everybody. Because I see you see it in, in the comp gameplays, right? But every time you see people, like, it's, it's just insane that, that they got. Maybe they should change it to circuit shots and let you hit more. Uh, but then you got difficult shots with that. Bro, you should not be able to hit fading threes at a high clip. That's just all to it. The badge, should, it's a bad badge. It shouldn't be in the game. Like, they let you hit step backs. I can see step backs, but the fading ones, and maybe it don't even let you hit the fading ones. Maybe it just lets you hit, hit step backs, and then the fading threes are in the game. Y'all let me know which one it is. I know it lets you hit step backs, but y'all think that people are hitting the fading threes because of the circus threes? Or because of or because it's it's just in the game and they they have not adjusted it just like they never adjust the threes until after like three passes into the game the fading threes got to go i think we could probably deal with the step look look at brute right there uh the fading threes got to go but the step back threes i think we could probably deal with those if that's what circus threes is supposed to do but the fading threes gotta go they gotta go they just got to y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section does it have to go bro why is it what is all these brute clones out here doing bro with the gingerbread, the brute big man clown with the gingerbread backpack. I think that they gotta go. We can't have a game that's even semi-competitive where you can take fading threes as a bailout and and you already can throw lobs and stuff like that. And also, we gotta do something with this. I, mean, I gotta get with All City. I'm gonna try to get with All City today 
and we'll do this thing and we're gonna talk about rep and uh, do a little mini podcast and stuff like that. I just been trying to get these streaming stuff going and I also stream on Twitch every day. But y'all see me streaming on YouTube too. Um, I want y'all to start supporting the street stream, Twitch stream a little bit more. But y'all already do that good enough, so it's cool, man. And uh, like I said, we got the new shirt in the store. This will be in the store at 3 p.m. Eastern time. We dropping it. Uh, outwork everyone. That's what we do. That's the Gym Star moniker. Uh, that's what we gonna do, man. So you know it is what it is. But like I said, in this gym, they, it's, it's been a little bit like the Wild Wild West. It's cool. It's it's great that they still continuing to support it. The updating the course and stuff. But I just feel like like when you guys when the scalpers stop holding these joints hostage and they stop botting them and like they flooding the market. So just keep holding on. You might get it after January, but they are doing their best to get these consoles into the store so everybody can upgrade the next gen. Next gen is awesome. I'm not gonna lie. But if we can get if we can do something about that curry slide and if we can do something about the uh, fading threes. Then I think we got a, a we really have a winner, but people are starting to catch on to the fading threes. So I, I'm like, Ugh, if we can do something about that sooner than later, that would be awesome. Up next, man, we had the uh, like I said, we had the Formula One event yesterday, which is Mobile One. I think this is probably the first L that 2K took as far as events because, like I said, these events, events right here, like obviously we know that when when we first start these events, it's not gonna be the greatest. But this is one of the first events that they had to restart. It's like you were getting like 20 laps, and the first thing you could finish this joint in 15 minutes or 10 or two games or something like that, depending on what it was. And um, looking at it, it just said the event ended in 10 minutes. Now we went in there, we played the event. The event was actually pretty fun. I enjoyed the event. But the thing was, it just seemed like like the, you had too much progress on the first time, and then on the second time you had it seemed like it was too little. I don't even know if anybody even finished the event or who finished first or if it was even finishable. All I know is we got double rep, and they said we got some three times rep in there, bro. I don't know. I did me a bar last night, so I feel good about it. I feel like you know the event wasn't. It was not a total loss. It wasn't a waste. It was just one of those joints where it's like, hey. You know, I wish that we, I wish it would have gone a little bit better than it did, but we didn't even know it was coming out. We thought it was today or something like that. I had to hit up Brooding Gammon and be like, bro, we, we need to get in this event. Cause when we try to play these events, we're really playing events for real. Like some people be in there going hella hard, holding the ball, all this stuff, bro, we, we play. Let me know, tell me down in the comment section, you play events for rep or do you play to try to sweat? and win everything. We were just playing for reps, so I ain't even gonna lie. And we were playing bots all weekend too. My shot was so off. If your shot, hey, leave a like if your shot, and tell me down in the comment section, was your shot off for playing bots all weekend, or, or, or were you just fine? Did you feel like you were just fine playing the game? I felt like my shot was a little bit off uh, playing the bot, because I was playing, because you taking contested shots in the bot's face all weekend, and it throws your timing off and stuff like that. But other than that, Mobile One was a dub. Um, like I said, I got my bar. I, I, I don't know what I am now, but I, I got my bar done. So um, I, I should be the next level or whatever. I can't even remember what my rep is, bro. I've been rep grinding so bad that like it's like I don't even know. And I don't even know why he does stuff like that. You're supposed to dunk it. Bruce said you should have dunked the front side. He's right. But um, I don't know what I was. I don't even know what my rep is right now. I'll check it after this. But it's like I'm, I'm trying to get the legend this year and I find that the best way to grind the legend is not pay attention to where your rep is just keep grinding 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 and eventually you just gonna be there uh, I don't got my shirt off yet I think that's my next level I get my shirt off so whatever that is y'all leave it down in the comment section and then last but not least my guy NBA 2k toots man he did um he did an awesome video bro on um on speed and like a lot of people were saying that they feel like that guy is, is slower and more sluggish after the newest update and he's and, and they're absolutely right um pretty much what he's saying is that speed definitely took a hit especially on bigs with this last update uh if you want to see what that is man you can go over there check that video out and do all that good stuff but you know he's just saying that speed took a hit but the the, the funny thing is acceleration only only uh impact speed with ball it doesn't impact speed without ball so you can literally if you plan to never dribble the ball you can get by with having no acceleration if you plan to never dribble the ball you can have no acceleration and you'll be just fine and, and i probably could have saved some um some points there but then i actually do plan on dribbling the ball some here and there um, I was like, bro, I don't even know what I was doing right there. This is what I'm supposed to be doing right here. Fine gas. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm out here trying to dribble and like brood out. That's why y'all was like, well, you can get so many more playmaking badges. I'm like, bro, why I need playmaking badges when every time I dribble the brawl, brute asked me what the hell I'm doing and I proved that I, I'm not a dribbler. Some people dribblers, I'm not, I can accept that I'm not a dribbler. I'm a scorer. This is what I do. Fine gas. That's what I do. 
and play defense. That's that's what I'm here for. So, you know, it is what it is. But like I said, my shot was a little bit off. But looking at these clips, it was just uh, playing them bots all weekend. Like, we probably played three, 400 bot games. And it's just like, ugh. My, I got a lot of bad habits, a lot of bad time and stuff like that. And what I need to do is uh, get my stuff back right. So, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Or, or am I right or is it just inconsistent? Um, you know, do, do the jump shot, does it seem a little bit harder to shoot right now? Is, do you just feel inconsistent or you think we just been playing bots all weekend and then you go back into Formula One playing real people and, uh, you know, it is what it is. You got to get back. Damn, get up off the floor, son. Uh, you got to get back to get those bad habits out and get back. We get back in the park. It's going to be the same thing, but you know, it is what it is. But like I said, bro, um, having the ball with the game, I feel like 2K21 next gen is a big dub. My heart goes out to the guys that are still on last gen, and I really hope that you all are able to cop a cop a cop a, a console and and get on to next gen. It's a hell of a game, hell of a change, very fun. And if you don't, if you haven't done that already, I'm leaving Dub CP's link in the description. I mean, yeah, in the description. Go over there. He gonna help you cop one. He 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 tells you about all the drops and all of that stuff. And you can definitely get yourself a console some kind of how, some kind of way. Anyway, man, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Um, the patch, let me know if y'all think the new parks is a W or L. Let me know down in the comment section what else you have noticed with the parks. Um, if you're still on current gen. And uh, like I said, uh, leave that joint for Dub CP down there. I'm, I'm leaving the link down there so y'all can get that. And I'm leaving 2K Toots' joint down there. So let me know if y'all uh, let me know if y'all need anything else down there, man. This shirt will be out around 3, 3 Eastern time. Outwork everybody. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop. BK of the People's Champ. Guys, please.